Well, hello, everybody. Welcome once again to the Adventures Travel Club television show. Betty, we find ourselves on the water again, right? You bet. Better than be at sea, huh? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we get there sometimes, too, don't we? We find ourselves at sea. But this was really, really, really nice, wasn't it? Oh, beautiful day. Wonderful. Everything just perfect. You know, I'll tell you, I, this part of Germany, of course, is so beautiful. And, I, again, you know I'm crazy for all this architecture because so much of it is kind of storybookish and whatever. But, you know, one of the things that I think that we sometimes forget about is that the Rhine River here, and most all of the rivers, of course, that we see in, in Europe, are really used as highways and of course these were the early highways before the highways that we know today were built and we still see the barges running up and down uh, the Rhine and uh, carrying all sorts oh, of Oh sure, uh, they were things, very you know? commercial. How else are you going to how else are you going to transport all the things that have to go from place to place? There we go, Marv. There's your favorite. Yep, the old castles up on the hill. But you know we're going to stop for lunch because we have been on the Rhine for a few hours and we're in St you want to pronounce that? Sure. Gorhaschen. Okay. Gorhaschen. And I think sometimes they abbreviate it and just say St. Gore. Anyway, we stopped here for lunch, and everybody kind of just scattered while we got here. And this was an old fishing village. Uh, that's how it, it developed in the years of old. And, in fact, it became a town in the year uh, 1324, but I think it was actually founded in 1284. Are you impressed with that's all that knowledge? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, yeah, right. You know, I I think history is important, and I and I like just to have it a, a, a it's set in a certain period of time, but not to have to remember 1532, 1568, yeah. da da da, and king king king, and all that sort of stuff. That's all right if you're going to college, you know, taking a history course, if you're going to be a college professor. But when you travel, <laughs> you just travel for the fun of it. It is kind of nice though to know. I mean, how many centuries ago some of these things? Oh, well, started, I can. You know? Yeah, that's okay. Sure. But just don't hold ever hold me responsible. But for that, okay, well, we won't give you a test on okay, this one anyway. thank you. Anyway, when we stopped for lunch, we had time to really, uh, this is a very small town, but it was very beautiful, and I noticed this uh, little church, and so I said, you know, I want to go inside again. I love to see this architecture. And, you know, this little uh, candle arbor that we see right here, I saw that through most of Europe and northern Europe, and uh, in one, some of the churches that I was in up in Norway and, and uh, Sweden, they had those there as well, and it was sort of to pray for world peace. And that's why it was sort of in the oh, form that, of a globe, globe, you know? Huh? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Well, we, all of us didn't get into this. We, we were busy looking for a place to eat. Right. Oh. But, so you I, see which came first. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had a wonderful lunch. In fact, it wasn't lunch. I had, I was dying for a good strong cup of coffee and some apple strudel. Yeah. And, and I found, found it. it. I know. Well, we had something more more uh, what What'd healthy you have? we had something healthy soup or what actually i had a salad but did I'm, you? A, I'm a salad person well anyway. good for you and we did have a bowl of soup along with it uh-huh i just good. knew the soup Very had good. to be in there you know you don't i don't maybe you do i don't get too hungry when i travel um what well, you I mean for lunchtime? Say that really? Well, yeah. you know, I don't like to eat too much at lunch either because you're going to get back in the bus and then travel again, and you know, and usually if you look around and you see everybody's taking a little siesta. Yeah. You know, but uh, which is nice to do right, too. Now let's talk about this boat. Okay, this, this is boat, not ours. No, this was a, this is a ferry boat, and it just goes across the river and unload or loads, and then on the other side of the river, and it unloads again, and it takes cars, it takes uh, uh, trucks, as we saw there, okay, and a not lot of ferries. People. This isn't a ferry boat like for the fairy tale from Germany, Grimm's Fairy Tales. Well, that was not. Uh, I don't think it'd be the ben. same thing. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. Oh, I knew that. But anyway, it just rang a bell when you said that. It did. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you can see uh, there's also a barge in the background there too. Lots of barges going up and down the rivers Bar all the time. Do you remember when we did? I don't remember. Was it going into Ireland when we got on one of these? On one of the great from big Wales, ones. The yeah. bigger one. Mm -hmm. Scares me spitless when those cars go off the wharf, you know, into the boat. And, yeah. and then, and when you get off again, and I'm thinking, oh dear God, please don't let us fall and down into the water from them. Isn't that dumb? <laughs> well, they know anyway, what they're doing. They know, know what they're doing. Course. But if it's the first time that you've been on that, you know, my goodness sakes, I mean, you're going to be, a, you could be a little bit frightened. Especially one, th this one goes on one side, and then the other on the other on side. The other and then side, a big yeah. truck comes, and you think, oh my word, here we go. Well, but they know, as we say, they know what they're doing. Of course, these with these boats, they're doing this day in and day out, and day in and day out. Okay, another castle. <laughs> up on the uh, side of the hill over here. And, of course, everywhere that we went, it was just beautiful. We saw so many. Yeah. Now, we're going to go back to the town of Rudesheim, where we were in last week's show, and look at the vineyards. How would you like to pick grapes going straight up and down like that? Well, no, it's I don't care about 
picking grapes, period. But if you had to pick them, I'd sure rather be on the level ground. Well, I, if you don't have, have level ground, that's what you got to use, right? I have done it. I, I have picked grapes. Yeah, so I have I, too. From experience, I yeah. do know it, it Thank, ain't easy. You no, know, it's not. It's not the greatest job in the world. No. Anyway, we're going to uh, go down one of the main streets right here in Rudersheim. This is called the D R O S S E L G A S S E. Yes, okay. sir. That's the that's the name of this street. Now this is the kind of this is what I like. Oh my goodness, look at all the people though. That I mean, it was just a wee bit crowded. But it's, it's great. so it's such fun to be around people and see the windows and the displays and how the how the culture of the people mm -hmm. is and eat their food and like I just said, Oh, I'm never hungry, but that's a bunch of Well, bologna. we did have dinner we had here. Ice right. cream and yes. we had a great mm. lunch. Was it dinner or lunch? No, we had dinner here. Dinner here? Yeah. yeah. But look at the nutcrackers, but aren't isn't those? Isn't it fun? Great? Yeah. It is fun. Yeah. And this 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 street if you walk up the street you're gonna see there's a lot of little wine shops and wine cellars on either side and uh it's it really is fun. Of yeah. course, it's pretty touristy, but it it is just it's just really lots of fun. Besides the tourists, there's a lot of Germans there too. Maybe German tourists as well. Yeah, I that's don't know. right down my right down my alley. Right down your yeah, and it was yeah, a little bit yeah. bigger than an alley. There's Rita. She's looking at buying something. She's always buying something for her family or to take home to somebody. Well, that's great. That, this we, is we this is a good there. store to do and it. And Monsignor right next yep. door. Oh, he wanted to he try did. on some hats. There. <laughs> oh, that's darling, Monsignor. I think it fits you very well, Monsignor. You, you should. Uh, you're not going to buy it. No, uh, I guess not. But okay. I think he did I after think... the camera got off. Did he really? Him. Yes, I do think uh -huh. so. Uh huh. But I think several bought the hats. Well, they were fun. And I... there were a lot of cuckoo clocks yeah. purchased by our people. Well, you know, later on in the as we get into uh, the Black Forest, we're going to visit a place where they make the cuckoo clocks, and they're going to show us that. Oh, and now this is what I like, Betty. You know, here we are out on the street. We, You and I had wandered up a little bit further. We got up kind of to the top of the hill where there's another little street. And, of course, it's uh, street musicians playing here. And that was really wonderful. I, this is the thing I really like about travel. You know, you just never can tell. All of a sudden you hear some music coming and bingo. You round a corner and here's a musician playing. It's wonderful. Yeah, I think so, too. I, this kind of adds to all of the things that you do because this is... Like we say, the culture of the people, and mm -hmm. you know, you hear this music and you just sort of blend in with it, huh? Right. You want to, actually, I could have grabbed you and danced a little bit with you while, the, but you had the camera. I had anyway. the camera, so, so that would, would have been a little difficult. <laughs> yeah, and then they said, "Yeah, the there, the, those crazy Americans are at yeah, it again." Yeah. I guess. Now this is from the top of that street, looking back down where we where we just uh, uh, were looking in all those shops, and it's really nice. Again, then we found one that was a little vacant there too. But uh, these little alleys, like you say, your alleyway, there's all sorts of them there. And look it up at the top of the screen. Yeah, another church. Another church, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now there you go, Betty, see? Yeah, look at I'm dragging. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd walked all the way up that, that hill, so or something. I guess Isn't so. this a beautiful building? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? I thought they all were. This reminds me of a little bit of, like, Oberammergau, when, yeah. you know, all of the flowers and the, and the decorated things, the, pa right. the paintings. Hey, well, that we hear more music now, so what do you say? Let's go inside, because it's just about time for us to have dinner well no it isn't either no we're no, gonna we're no, gonna no. stop before dinner huh this is where uh, uh, i think it was tom and i don't remember who was with him that went in and they were having a beer and so uh -huh. we, and look what fun they were having oh we, they were having a good time we were gonna go in you know and you and went in as i, I recall went, i know but and you said marv come on in come on in so i did and then we sat down and the waitress came over and she said, and what can I serve you? And you and I just had an ice cream up on top of that hill. And we said nothing and she says, okay, then you have to leave. Yeah, that's right. So we didn't. But we, we so got we didn't a stay. Bit of but it. we got the camera. We got the camera hidden a little ways there so we could take some pictures. Anyway. How do you like the size fun. of that glass? Uh, that, that's a lot of wine. That's that a lot. Him, but he's a big guy anyway. Yeah. You know? But then that helps him sing a little louder as Probably. he goes on. And <laughs> <laughs> okay. And of course, this is, this is, oh, now speaking about having a few drinks, I remember before we now, were going to go to dinner. Yeah, no, I didn't. No. Okay. I didn't know because I don't care for where we're, I mean, I care for where we're going because it was very interesting to see. But I, this stuff would be no, like, this is... it'd be like drinking gasoline to me. I just, uh, well, and what are we talking about? We're talking about cognac, yeah. and we're actually talking about a, a very finest grade of cognac, which under ordinary circumstances is, is delightful, and it's just mm -hmm. a, something that you sip. But it just, it, it was a little harsh this time of the day, I think, too. But we all, you didn't. No, I didn't. I, I didn't, did. I didn't I, sample I it. I did my share. But, you know, this was a very interesting, I learned a lot about I learned a lot about uh, 
uh, cognac here because I didn't know very much about it. But they had a beautiful uh, new building here, and this is, this is also the distillery as well. And if we would stay there for a little while longer, we would see that they had a multimedia show, and it sort of gave the history, and thank goodness it was in English. But then you walk into the distillery room, and it's almost like a church. You it see the really stained glass was. windows. Very, very beautiful. And the process that it goes through it, of, of making cognac, yeah. it has to be at least 12 years old. Oh, is that right? Yeah, Before they serve minimum, it? Uh -huh. That's for the good cognac, at least 12 years mm -hmm. old. Well, you can see there was, a, oh boy, I'll tell you, look at the money and the copper and the brass that's in here. Of course, this is good beautiful. business. That's why they do that's this. True. Because when you get your tourists coming in, the number of our people bought cognac and brought it home. Well, if people enjoy it, that's wonderful. It's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, but you know what? Were. You can come home, go into the duty-free shop, and you can find the same uh, thing. most of the same thing, and then <laughs> you didn't have to lug it with. I did that when we went to, to um, uh, uh, Prague, uh -huh. and I bought some of the wine that she said is so marvelous to buy, and it was called Blood Boar's Blood, and so many of the people brought it, and I came back, and here was it Trader Joe's for the... <laughs> <laughs> So one never uh -huh. knows. One never knows. That's true. Anyway, this was very interesting. The gal gave us a wonderful demonstration here on uh, on how this is made, and like you say, Betty, too, on how it was aged. We were actually we're getting a little mini course right here. So this is good. Little little travel education to go along with it. But I thought this was a I thought this was a nice presentation the way that they did it, and it was. Uh, oh, you see, you sniff it. Uh huh. And then it clears your. It, Clears all your sinuses. So you mean you're just going to use that for medicinal purposes? Medicinal purposes. Okay. Absolutely. Well, now we're going to go absolutely. back into the main part of Rudesheim, and we are now going to have our dinner. You had your after-dinner drink first, right? After dinner first. That's yeah, right. That's right. right. <laughs> now, we have been here before, about 10 years ago, when we did the same trip before, and we ate in the same restaurant. Good food, and it was wonderful. These are all our people, as you can see, Marv scanning them as we went along. We had right. such a nice group of people. Great group and of people. And fun, and no, no complaints. Well, they, I don't usually have complaints anyway, but they were just so nice. It was, it was a yeah. wonderful, wonderful yeah. group of people. And we, I, I think you're really blessed, Betty, the way that you are able to uh, uh, to gather just a really special type of person to come and go on the trip. And look at here. Yeah, well, I tell you, they play just for us. Look at here. We have people I, out on the dance floor. I just love to, you know, I, I, being a widow, I, I, I sometimes feel so jealous, not really jealous, but what fun it would be to have to their up husband dance. up there to be able to dance oh, yeah. with on these trips. No, that's this nice. is what happens with our people sometimes, too. They wait until they think and they can afford it or until they retire, you know, to save their money. Long thing to do. And then so many, many times it's just the widows that are right. coming with me instead of husband and wife. No. No, I'll tell you what, that's that's the one thing that I think that a person should really decide. Save up a little bit of money and, and go, go and take your it. trip and yes, go for it. Yes. Because you never can tell what's going to happen can. in the future, just like what you said, you know, Get one of the partners life. may be gone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the thing is what I keep telling people, Go now before everything becomes just like it's going to be here. You know, <laughs> see the difference of the world. I mean, well, I do tell it. You, particularly, I think, for the Holy Land trip because there are so many, many changes that are taking mm -hmm. place there. And who knows in five years whether it'll still be all available you to us. You just don't know. No. That's just it. Now, where is this, Marvel? Well, we're going up the street again. Uh, and again, oh, I should should mention, Betty, that this was a holiday. And so that's why we didn't see a lot of people uh, out on the streets or a lot of cars. And sometimes that does happen. However, the shops were open and we were able to go ahead and shop. So now we're on it. We had a beautiful bus. It was just absolutely oh, wonderful. And look at the windows. See how far down they are. Yeah. So the vision was perfect. It on was it. great. Yeah. And as we say, you can see most of the people that are traveling with us. And we did have a really good time, a, a variety of wonderful folks. Okay, you asked where we're going. Well, there's the mm -hmm. sign right there. We're going to go to Heidelberg. Now, Heidelberg is an ancient, ancient city. It doesn't look like it here. And the reason it doesn't look like it here is because we're in the new part. But we're going to go through a tunnel and all of a sudden, boy, you're like almost in a time warp. It's absolutely beautiful. So we can see. And you see in, in Germany, so many parts of Germany, especially remember, Betty, a couple of three years ago when we were in eastern Germany in Berlin. I mean, everything was so brand new. Well, because sure. you know the, the, They the, didn't have anything left the, after the not war. Not very much. Huh? That's true. But uh, so it's nice to be able to see you know some of the old well it's well it's still there and yeah. uh 
this I think was uh, was just marvelous. The sculptures that you see, just in the in. Oh, I'm a lot not real buildings. crazy about all that modern Aren't myself. You? No, no, it, it's okay. It's kind of nice to have some. Well, though, you, you know. all right, then you can have the modern, and I'll. And take you take the old, the old stuff. Okay? Okay. okay, you you want the most expensive stuff? Of then, course, this way. of course. <laughs> well, and of course, the modern sculpture, or I guess you'd say sculpture, huh? Would have to fit in with certain decor. I mean, you can't. Sure. You can't if you have the building to match it, then it's right. fine. Sure. All right. Okay, where is this? The okay, gardens. We're, we're still, we're not we're in still going there. We're, no, no, no. We haven't, we haven't arrived to the old parts yet. But we, I wanted you to see the, the, the difference the between the old part and the Yeah, right. Yeah. Now, there are some of the older buildings that you can see here, too. But there are still a lot of things like, you know, skyscrapers that are going up in multi, multi story buildings. Everywhere so it's going to change. And I, it's going to I change. I prefer myself the old cities. I, I think it's such fun to walk down those cable streets. Co cobblestone, cobblestone streets, streets and yeah and see right. the, all the iron work well, and the flowers we, and we just did it we just we just went yeah. there and went through and now we are on another river this is not the rhine river this is the necker river <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sounds kind of neat doesn't it it huh? does it does and now you can see parts of old heidelberg now and see that's, that's isn't that beautiful isn't now look that. at that that's that, a postcard picture it is a postcard picture and, and, it, and take, i hope it always stays that way and my picture and uh, my picture my people were don't 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 shoot and shoot and shoot and you know one, oh yeah <laughs> well i hope so <laughs> yeah they really did they took lots of photographs it was um well, this is a very picturesque place, you know. Heidelberg is just, uh, I don't know, it just, it's, it's a nice, it's a university town, which we should mention, and uh, the university dates way, way back. In fact, the university d dates back to, I think, when one of the uh, one of the popes was the one that actually started well, the university, right? Heidelberg is first mentioned in any document in yeah. the year 1196, uh -huh. and so you can tell that goes a long time, a, yeah. a long time back. A long time back, right? Yeah. Well, now we're, we we took that uh, little cogwheel car and we went right up, right up to. The, now, uh, we've got to explain. Everybody calls this the castle. It is really not a castle. There was a castle here at one time, but now it, this was built and rebuilt and added on to, and it really is a palace, or was a palace, right, Betty? Well, uh, I see, it's hard to differentiate between a palace, I, to me, and a castle. Castles, you generally equate with a moat all around. There it. was they, a moat around there. Once. I didn't see the moat uh, as we were there, but... Uh, and it's a fortress. Well, there was a moat built for part protection, of it, yeah. and then they have the fiefdom along, uh, you know, for the uh, their their serfs the people to live that, yeah, in, right. you know, to live in. <laughs> right. And uh, right. but see, but see, you couldn't have a moat all the way around because you no, were sitting on the side of a hill. You had the water right. or the automatically right. there for you. Isn't that a beautiful view though from yeah, there? Oh it is. my goodness, it is great. Well, that, now who who actually started the, the the palace up there? Do you know who 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 originally did Some that? Some king. Some king? <laughs> what, the, what, but the guy was, he wasn't a king to begin with, well, was he? Well, I, I just, Marv, I really, it was a duke, I guess, that, that did it originally. Yeah. But, uh, oh, and then, then was it that guy, Rup, Ruptek, Rupter. something Rup, that became the first yeah. German king? I think so, yeah. But, but uh, see, th there's so many changes that take place from this one to that one to the other one. The thing that I remember most about all of this is... The young lady that was married, she was from here, and then she she was married, and she didn't want to be married to this guy from France, but uh -huh. she went anyway. She had to go. And when she was in, she wrote 60,000 letters. What? Can you believe in this time of day, you know, this year, that she wrote 60,000 letters? Without That's a computer? <laughs> <laughs> That's the part that, you know, that kind of intrigues me oh when I, I read golly. something like that about it. Well, I, I remember that. Now, the gardens here were supposed to be, you know, world-renowned when they were first built. And I'll tell you, I walked all the way around this castle because I wanted to take a look over here. And you can see that they're still working. They're working on the castle on this side. And uh, if you look down here, you can see the scaffolding right there, too. This was the far side. Now, I'm from the east looking back to the west. But uh, and a lot of people didn't walk over here. But these gardens were, they were they were known as one of the not the seven wonders of the world, but one of the wonders mm -hmm. of the world in the ancient world. It uh, was you know. I didn't uh, I did not see the gardens. I was way up on the top, and had that magnificent view where you could see forever. Mm -hmm. 
but I didn't look down here. They don't look like great gardens right now, but uh, uh, I'll take I think your the, word for it. Yeah, well, and we no, do there, have a book. there were some that was a s sculptured area, but I think <laughs> these guys took over <laughs> most of the garden, <laughs> if you want to know the truth. And that, that was probably was the black sheep of the family right there, yeah, but this but is nice. Right. Look, at one of them is sheared. Look at those look like Angora. Or is that you? Oh, I don't, shouldn't say that. I didn't get that I, close. Somebody will call me and say, no, Betty, <laughs> those were not Angora goats. They were something else. So I, I'm telling you, I'm not really sure. Anyway, down in... In the center part of Heidelberg, uh, there's I, and I, I would imagine that these guys are students from the university, that uh, the street musicians that were here, they were really wonderful. It was great. Okay, now I remember. It was Betty. It was in the year 1385 that Pope Urban the Sixth gave uh, permission on the 23rd of October yet to establish a university, uh, and it was that guy. Uh, Roop, Roopter the first. <laughs> he was he was a fellow. Anyway, and, and well, here's here's excuse, that's fine. Yeah, then there's a there's a church right here too, as we can see in the. I didn't go inside this church. I don't. Did you go in there? Mm, yep, yeah, I always you go did? into. But see, I don't. I missed that one of yours. But yeah, I really do. But see, I wanted to. I like walking around see, uh -huh. and looking here. And, and you see how close you are to the palace yes, right up yes, there too. You know, yes. I mean just. The stones are, however, it is a it is a good hike if you want to climb up because that's a fairly steep hill. That's why I'm glad they had the little cogwheel train that went up. There. I walked. I walked down. I walked <laughs> up and down, and uh -huh. that was good for me. But when we came down, then we saw all of the. Um, uh, I, I can't quite recall what those, what did we call those for? They have classes. What did I tell you that word was for them? Oh, you did diff the, different the different schools. The, diff yeah. the different disciplines. And they're like just plain houses. This is for mm -hmm. the university students. And so it's not like on a campus type thing. It's one house and another house and another house. And then there they have the medicine or whatever it is yeah. that the student is staying. My cousin that was with us on this trip, mm -hmm. he, he came here as a graduate oh, did he study student there? and did some studying ah, here. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Well, and guess yeah. what? There was, there was an extra beer, so I got invited to sit down at the table and have a little lunch and have, a, well, have an extra beer. That beer was nice. German beer is oh, good. So it good. Truly it is, is good. wonderful. It was wonderful. And it's so good for you. It has all it really? the health things in it that a person needs. Yes. Are you, now, <laughs> now, are you an authority? That, I am that an it's, No, no. Peggy Walker is oh, the Peggy authority. Oh, Peggy Walker is Oh, well, she is, no, of you course. You can ask yeah. Peggy, and she That's will right. tell you that. Listen, I, wanted to, I just want to mention a couple of things uh, that when we were talking about uh, the you know, the University of Heidelberg, you know, it went through quite a few changes because in 1556, uh, during the Lutheran Reformation, they, 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 it, it changed and it became a Calvinist university up until 1685. And then in 16, well, I forget what the year was. Anyway, six, 1623, uh, they, uh, they gave part of the library to, uh, the, um, uh, to the Pope. Uh, as compensation for the cost of war. You know, there was a 30-year war there, too. There's a cute-looking guy. Aren't those nice? This is yeah. in Freiburg, and this is uh, these are some of the gargoyles. And, you know, I keep thinking... That looks like what he was doing with his mouth opening. Yeah. Oh, oh, Gar gargoyling. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting here because uh, the church here in Freiburg was about the only thing left standing. And uh, there were some pictures that I saw somewhere uh, during World War II, everything around this little square, actually it was not a square, it was like a round circle around the church was, uh, everything was destroyed. And I guess part of the church was destroyed too, but uh, some of it would remain, uh, it remained, you know, intact. Was Now that was the Gothic style where the mm -hmm. arches, yes, it was just Look at that, beautiful. yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This was a, this, this was really something. So we're getting closer to the Black Force and there's a group of, uh, of our, our people going there. As you can see now, some of the older buildings were still there but you see there's a lot of other buildings that were built after World War II because the when when the bombs hit of course so many things just started to burn like crazy but uh, I really thought this was interesting and the nice thing about this too is that they are keeping this up you see there's more scaffolding up there as well so that uh, that things are, are going to be protected and that these old buildings these old churches I think these which are so beautiful will be kept on hopefully forever, you know, if they, they keep it up like that. Beautiful stained glass windows oh, and the paintings, gorgeous. the artistry, the 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 magnificent work that's done by the sculptures, and mm -hmm. and these are all works of art and love and and and. Uh, 
religious religiosity, right? Well, it's true. And and the thing is, is that you know, here in this part of Germany, and as we get closer over to Oberammergau, then what we see, of course, are the uh, the the wonderful wood carvings that we see, and that and that's beautiful. We're going to hop back for just a moment to go back to that main square here in Heidelberg, and uh, this was this was the little main square, and I wanted to show you this. I you know I don't know in, in Scandinavia we would call this a maypole. You know, and and uh, but I don't know what it is here in Germany. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it, it signifies there was a sign on one side that said Heidelberg. So if you case, in case you got lost and you were drinking too many of those German beers, all you do is look up at the That's sign and you know where you were. The pole. But you speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now this, did you see this guy? Yes, marvelous mime. He was so. It, look good. what he did. This woman, she just going bananas. I'll tell you. Oh, she just, she was just so enthralled with it. Look at there. She yeah. gave him a little curtsy. She played right along with him. <laughs> Look at him moving his. He was just tremendous. Well, and there were I a was lot of, oh, this is where I was talking about, Marv, yeah. where we had something to eat at this. We came down right. from the mountain mm -hmm. and we were at mountain from the castle and we were actually we got pastries. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, which now I watch. She's going to spot do. me with the camera. Oh. <laughs> so he gave me a real good face right there. you take pictures of me. You want to pay me? Okay. Yeah, no, I did. I left. Any time I, you know, I shoot these guys, whether it's uh, the street music or whatever, I want to make sure that you leave them something, you know, because they're there That's performing. Sure. And there's still some of the students out there having their lunch. And, uh, you know, it's just, a, it was a great day. It was a nice warm day, and it was a beautiful day to walk around the streets there of Heidelberg. And there you, there's your cobblestones, Betty. Yeah, see. See? I do like them. Yeah. I really do like them. Such a such a nice, pretty place to 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 visit. I can go to all the modern streets and highways and freeways and what, where I live, but I don't yeah. want to see them when I travel. Right. Well, these are some of the things that we saw on today's show, and uh, I I hope that uh, that you enjoyed that. And again, uh, we take another little short view of some of the things that we that we saw. Uh, the I don't. I almost said at the castle in Heidelberg. It wasn't the castle. It's the the uh, wonderful uh, palace there and Rudesheim, of course, as we can see here too. Uh, it's just lots and lots of fun. Anyway, Betty, why don't you tell everybody what your phone number is so that we can talk about uh, trips coming up? Sure. My phone number is four eight eight seven four four three, and I do have all my programs organized Good. for next year. Okay, it's time for us to say goodbye, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>